Hi, it's Oliver James here, and you find me here at our local bowling green, Caddy's Head Grange in Caddy's Head. I'm joined by Dave Head, Chairman, and Jane McKay, Development Lead. And we're here to discuss youth health and wellbeing programs and developing Crown Green Bowling in our community. Please help by hitting the share button now to help spread the word, word or tag any friends or family that may be interested. It's okay with you guys, I'm going to ask you a few questions, we're going to do a quick Q&A. Yep. And again, if yep. anyone uh, has any questions afterwards, feel free to comment below and we'll get those questions answered. So how long has Caddyshide Grange been an active bowling club? We were originally established as Caddyshide Conservative Bowling Club in 1892 and we have always had a proud tradition of engaging with our community. Now as a community, the Crown Green in our area have dwindled from 14 greens to 5 greens in Ilwyn Caddyshead and we want to improve access to the whole community. Last year we successfully ran a pilot summer programme for children and, he and weekly health and wellbeing sessions. We see on our bowling greens in Earlham and Caddyshead many retired people playing the sport. Are there younger people taking up the sport now? Crown Green Bowls has that reputation but that isn't the truth and there are youth teams in many northern clubs and we also have a county youth team. We need to grow the sport in Earlham and Caddyshead to change the perception and besides where else can you do a sport with your parents and grandparents, it's a multi-generational sport. So last year you ran the summer youth programme and weekly health and wellbeing sessions. What are you doing this year? We're excited to introduce youth bowling sessions led by our level one coach and also work in conjunction with lo local primary schools and clubs and scout groups. Our aim is to introduce children to the sports of Crown Green Bowling while fostering a sense of community and inclusivity. We have listened to youth groups and have recently begun promoting this year's offer on social media in the Earlham and Caddyshead Digital Information Board as well as partnering with local schools and youth groups to provide their children with new sporting experience. I will lead the sessions with a team of facilitators and introduce them to the sport, teaching them new skills and enhance their numeracy and hand-eye coordination, all while ensuring they're having fun. So what do you need? We wish to be realistic on the scale this year as we need more coaches trained and have to incorporate <coughs> that cost into our project. Without the support of the local businesses that have sponsored us this year and last year, we wouldn't have been able to buy eight sets of youth bowls. However, to make these sessions possible, we need funding to purchase suitable bowls equipment tailored for secondary children to build a youth team and lighter bowls to persuade our older generation to come down and bowl. We want bowls that we can use inside scout huts or in a school hall. We need equipment for people who have disabilities. The Green has just opened. When does the health and wellbeing group start and what is the cost? Health and wellbeing will be running here on a Monday 2 till 3 p.m. from the 15th of April. There is no cost and equipment is free to borrow. Club members will be on hand to coach and introduce people to our sport and we do have uh, tea and coffee facilities as well. So when does the youth session start and what is the cost of this? The Junior Bowl sessions will begin on Saturday the 27th of April. There are two sessions, 9.15 will be for primary age children age 8 and upwards and the 10.15 session will be for secondary age learners. This will gradually evolve where the later sessions will be learners who are preparing to join a third team either at Caddy's Egg Grange or other clubs within our area. Children can play competitively from 11 years of age. The cost will be £1 per child and any accompanying parents can use the green. They can both borrow bowls for free that can, and, and we can accommodate eight children per session as we have eight sets of bowls. So you need to book early to guarantee your child or grandchild's place. So how can children book onto the youth coaching? They can message on our Facebook page or via Instagram. So what is your mission as a club, Dave? While bowls traditionally attracts an older demographic, <clears throat> we see this project as an opportunity to make the sport truly multi-generational and inclusive. By bringing together young learners and experienced bowlers, we aim to bridge generational gaps and create a supportive community environment. We wish to thank all our sponsors, as without them, we couldn't have come this far. But we plan to go further to get more people in, 
our community having fun and being active together. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Dave and Jane for taking the time to make this video to help promote this local asset. So if you are interested in getting involved with Crown Green Bowling, whatever age you are, whether you want to take your grandchildren and bring them here or children or anything like that, it's a generational sport. Uh, feel free to message myself, Dave or Jane directly for more information. There'll be some links in the description as well. Thank you for watching. Click share if you haven't already. And don't forget to love M44.